is good guys and welcome to today's video. I've been saying this forever but I need to wash my cars. And this is where it gets really cool. A while ago in the comment section, I remember one of you lads, I can't remember your name, but you were talking about Bowden's Own, which is an Australian company of car care products. And well, it seems like you guys sent me one of their packages. Also, I love the candy that came in there. That was like nostalgia, like I love Australian candy. Anyways, so we got some awesome microfibers. We got some of their car wash packs in here and um, also one of their coating kits. So I'm pretty keen to try this all out. Zach was foaming at the mouth and saying that this stuff is like the best stuff in the world. So yeah, super hydrophic, damn easy, stunning gloss. A protective spray on rinse off sealant. So I'm pretty keen to try it all out. And uh, I've also got some of their car wash packs here. Nanolicious wash. All right, sick. So we're gonna wash the car right now. You can do some slow-mo shots and things like that. But for now, let's get this car washed and then go check out some cars for sale. how good this thing looks that wash is incredible thank you so much i think your name may have been kevin that sent it out to me you are a freaking champion um, i didn't get to put the coating on though because i didn't read the bottle and when i did read the bottle i had already dried the car so next time i wash the car i'll use the coating because you are meant to apply the coating when it's still wet so i didn't want to put it onto dry panels anyways that aside now something else to do with this that I need to I need to change. I wonder if I can get in there with just my nails and rip that out. We'll see. But one of you mad lads got one of these switch like covers or blanks from Nissan and then laser engraved Yashio spec. How freaking cool is that? So I'm gonna quickly pop that in and then we're gonna go get to our destination for today. I just popped it in and look how good that looks guys. Seriously, I love it. The only thing that needs to be fixed on my dash now is this hole here. So I'm kind of looking actually for an entirely new S15, like this bottom plastic piece, because uh, I don't really have anything that I think I'll ever want to put in there. Actually, you know what? We may put the LED in there for the car alarm system. I've got a Viper to put in this, so I will go with that. But, oh man, it looks so good. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Every time I look down through my steering wheel now, it's just Yashio spec. All right, let's get to our destination, lads. We've just arrived and we're at a car yard called Joy Phoenix or Phoenix Joy and they're known for having a fair few rare cars uh, that are always quite pricey as well. So I'm pretty keen to check out what they have up at the line up here and uh, see what kind of prices cars are selling for. The main reason I do these kinds of videos is so that you guys can be educated and see what the cars are selling for here in Japan at dealers so that then when you guys want to export them you know you're not getting ripped off. So anyways They've got a really nice lineup of 34 GTRs here and a beautiful FC, so let's take a look. Right off the bat here, look at this beautiful FC, absolutely immaculate condition. Series 5, the price tag is huge though, it's like $45,000 US, but it's only got 18,000 kilometers on it, and it's the GTX edition too. So nice, it's beautiful. And now having a look here, we got a really nice Midnight Purple 33 GTR. It's hard to see because they're so close to each other, but it's on LMGT three wheels. This thing has only 93,000 kilometers and it's selling for 62 grand. This is a 40th um, anniversary edition one as well. Wait, it's a four door, so it's an Ortec. Wait, I'm really confused right now, hang on. 
Is it an Ortec? I, I didn't know they brought out midnight purple ones. Jeez, that's crazy. So 62 grand for that. It explains its price tag though, if it's actually like... Yeah, I'm really confused. I didn't know Ortec ones came in midnight purple. There you go. That's super cool. And then, starts their line of 34 GTRs here. Midnight purple one. 72,000 kilometers. $75,000 for this. $77,000 for this white one. It's done 67,000 Ks. You've got another one here. What's this one? Oh, this is a GTT for 38 grand. That's done only 47,000 kilometers. That's a low for a GTT RB25 Neo. And then over here, oh wow. This thing is expensive. <laughs> V-Spec for 160 grand. It's done 61,000 kilometers. Look at, that's in good condition too. Far out. 160 grand for this one, guys. Then over here, we've got, this one's 100 grand. This is an M-Spec Ner. 100 grand, and this one's done 39,000 kilometers. Wait, no, that's just an M-Spec. Yeah. Wow, 100 grand for that. Then up here is a 35 GTR for 50 grand. This thing's got a whole bunch of carbon parts and stuff on there and it's done 88,000 kilometers. Far out. Yeah, Type M, 39,000 kilometers. So it's like a base model Type M, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Super cool though. Far out. Just, yeah. V-Specs, 160 grand, midnight purple. That's nice. This place is sick. It was just like a Lolux with chromies for seven, seven grand USD. So cool. Oh man. Yo, this thing's only done 23,000 Ks this Evo. Jeez. Okay, this is nuts. So GTR V-Spec 32. It's done, what? 3,000 kilometers? That can't be right. I mean, it looks practically new. 3,000 kilometers supposedly V-Spec for $95,000 USD. Now it says confirmed 3,000 kilometers in Japanese on the top there. That's nuts. 3,000 kilometers, that's practically a brand new 32 GTR. And it's $95,000 USD. Oh man, these cars have really gone up in price. Ooh, we need to look at that later. That's 100 grand, that's insane that that's 100 grand. And that, that V-Spec's more than that. It doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> JZA80 Supra, $45,000. It's an RZS. Uh, kilometers, I don't see a kilometer reading. I uh, don't see kilometers anywhere. All right, don't know how many Ks are on this one. It's RZS. Looks in pre pretty decent shape. I wish I could get beside there and look through the driver's side. Uh, but obviously, space is uh, a thing that everyone in Japan uses every tiny bit of like look how close these cars are in the back here like you can't even walk beside them I guess wait how are you supposed to get in that and drive it away through the passenger door I guess there you go these wheels are kind of nice anyways so yeah nice JZA 80 Supra prices here are definitely a premium and that's mainly because they always have such clean examples of these cars so yeah as you can see there this one that we're looking at before is an M spec GTR you can see the badge through there which is probably why that one's also so expensive because they didn't make many M specs. These are really cool cars. Right, we'll get to the Ferraris in a little bit and I believe they also have some more rare cars in the back there. Oh yeah, they do. These, so there's a Payo uh, or a B1 maybe I think they're called. No, Payo is different. These things are so cool. So Sammy Vane's in Australia, the guy who runs a Tucker Garage, has one of these, but it's the, the BE1, not a Payo. Very similar cars. They just look super cool. <laughs> it's like literally the interior in these are like bare minimum nothing. They're super cool. <laughs> and like all these just interesting, I, I don't know if it's because it was cheap or what, like the whole roof comes out. Like it's, it's very, very cool. I love these things. The BE one's similar, but it's, it's, I think they even shared the same drivetrain. It's just they look a little bit different, that's for sure. There's a cool WRX up there we want to look at, but let's look at some of these rare cars in here. This is so cool. I've never seen a Testarossa up this close before. I think that's how you pronounce it. This thing's only done 
7,000 kilometers on the clock. They won $100,000 US for this. It's mint. Very nice. <laughs> so cool. All right, what do they got up in here? Yo! What? And if you guys know anything, you know what that badge man means? Tommy Kiera. Kiera? Kiera? I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. This thing is cool. They want 42 grand for it though. Jeez. So sick. <laughs> and then they've got an NSX next to this. Oh, it's so clean. Wait, did I just find the holy grail? Shut up. No, we did not. Get out of here. 48 grand for this Evo. It's done 2,000 kilometers? What? No, that can't be right. Dude, this thing looks sick. Little roof kind of vent going on there. This is nuts. All right, let's see. Is this a six or a five? I'm trying to test myself right now. I think it's a six because it doesn't have the bolt-on fenders. Or this could be a five with six front fenders. But either way, it's either, I, I'm leaning towards, this is, a, 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 this is a legit rally art Evo 6, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's an Evo 6, but please tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section. This thing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Whew. Wait. Tommy Makey Makinen edition? I've never heard of that. It is a six V1. What? Okay, I wish I knew what this is. This is probably a big deal. This also reminds me of the time that I found a 22B here and I was like, I don't know what a 22B is and you guys destroyed me in the comment section. So please tell me in the comment section what this is. Um, obviously, I'm more of a Nissan Skyline kind of guy, so I don't know much about, you know, Evos or Subarus and stuff like that, but I'm learning and I want to know about this. I have a feeling that this is probably super rare because it's in this closed off room. Very nice and cool. Oh, damn. So clean. Oh my God. This is so baller. I didn't even know what to do. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm freaking out. I, this has to be something special. It has to be. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting to read your comments on this, guys. But this is so cool. By the way, I don't think we talked about the price on this. This thing's done 53,000 kilometers and they won $150,000 US for this NSX. Wow. These cars, man, so far out of my price range, it's insane. And like I said, this place is known for having a lot of super rare, expensive cars. So when you think about the pricing and you're like, oh man, that's way too expensive. No, like these cars have crazy low confirmed kilometers. And uh, they also uh, do export cars. So if for, every reason, for whatever reason you guys actually want to get one of these cars here, uh, feel free to contact them. That's their website there uh, and get in touch with them. Uh, just let them know you saw it in my YouTube video or whatever and uh, show them which car you're interested in and I'm sure they'll help you out. They have English speaking staff as well to help with all of that and get cars out of the country for you guys. So yeah, if you guys want to drop 160 grand on something like this, then by all means, please do. So up the back here, they got this Subaru hiding. It looks a bit weird on the angle there. Like they literally use every bit of space that they can here, packed full of cars. They even have another little yard across the road up there that's just packed even more like this. So this thing, it's a bit pricey, 23 grand. It's a WRX SDI Type R and it's only done 52,000 kilometers. So low mileage, really clean. The paint job, like the paintwork looks pretty decent for its age. Interior looks really good as well. So, you know, the Momo steering wheel edition and stuff like that. And yeah, genuine Type R. Very cool. Now, there was another car up there. There it is. I want to look at that Forester STI because that thing looks cool. Ooh, haven't seen one of these in a while. Premios. <laughs> these things are cool. You can do a bunch of really cool stuff on this. Is that the, it is the all-wheel drive version. See, I've, and they only want five grand for it. I need to do some research whether or not the all-wheel drive system in this is the same that's in the Wagos. Because if it is, then that's where I need the coupler and the diff and stuff for an all-wheel drive Civic I want to build over here. So let's get to this Forester STI, which is a bit hard to kind of navigate this maze of cars. Oh, this thing's clean. 
So this is an SDI Forester for those of you that don't know. It's essentially like an SUV version of the SDI. Very, very cool. They only want $13,000 for this. Uh, it looks like they can't confirm how many miles are on the car though, because the cluster was swapped out at some point. But as you can see, all SDI interior, SDI steering wheel, SDI seats and everything. Let me try and see if I turn my ND filter on, if that helps. I've just turned the ND filter on and it doesn't seem like it's doing a very good job of blocking the reflections. Um, but yeah, full SDI interior, both all the seats and the steering wheel, the dash in there is so nice. I know it's hard to see, but I still had to show you guys. But yeah, fire out. I love this place so much. This modest is cool, is cool too. <sighs> I still can't get over those GTRs. And then that freaking Evo in there. I'm gonna jump on Google the moment I get home because that has to be something special. I'm gonna laugh if it's not and I'm just going crazy over nothing, but I guarantee you it's probably something super rare and you guys are gonna destroy me in the comment section for not knowing about it. Yeah, and like I said, over the road there, they have another little car yard that's just packed full of other little cars and stuff like that. Really cool. I've been living in Japan now for four and a half years and it's still like, is mind blowing to me that I can come to a car yard that's literally like 15 minutes down the road from where I live and find legendary cars like that just chilling at a car yard for sale. And every now and then when I drive past this place, like when I see, you know, a lot of the cars like exchange and, and disappear because they get sold and new ones come in, it's always interesting just to see where the market's at and whether or not like these cars that you guys want to get your whole, like your hands on in the States and things like that or in Australia, wherever else you live, what the prices are doing here in Japan and how it's actually affecting the Japanese market with you guys with that massive demand of wanting these cars. So yeah, I hope I gave you some insight today. I hope uh, you guys aren't too depressed by some of the pricing on those things. But I mean, let's be real. If you want to build a GTR, you're not going to be buying a V-Spec or anything like that. You know, that's more of a collector's car that you do nothing with these days. If you want to build a GTR, you buy like a, a standard edition one and you build that up. So, I don't know, hopefully that helped you guys out and you got to see some cool cars or maybe you got to see your dream car and you're about to go call these guys and put a deposit on it. So, nonetheless, I'm gonna jump back in my S15. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you smash that like button, leave us a comment, what was your favorite car? And don't forget, tell me some information about that Evo. I really wanna know. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out, Jamata.